Was he uh, one of the people who had a reputation uh, in, in O Block? Nah, he ain't had no reputation then. He ain't had no reputation or none of that. Like, he was just a motherfucker, like I said, that always was yap, 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 yap. Like, always, like, he, he'll get on your nerves with that shit, bro. Like, he'll be the one that be like, the ops over there. You know, everybody will be thinking about barbecuing or something like that. Like, he always was that person, bro. Mm. We just rolled down 63rd and seeing somebody standing out there. Like, ain't nobody think about that shit, bro. Like, he, he was one of them people. You got any, uh, like, notable fights? You know, like, when you was on 63rd or in Old Block or anything like that? Like, you fight anybody? Yeah, I got into a couple of fights. I'm talking got, with, with some people with some names. You know how they... I say. got into a fight with Big A. Big A, the one who got killed? With, uh, yeah. With, uh, the one who they talking about that brick now smoked the dead in the whole time. Some civilians killed him, bro. Damn. Some, some lights to carry killed him, bro. On that thing. Dude, them sent him off, told him, woke him up out of sleep, told him that it was some ops up in there from Six St. Lawrence. He ran in there with a 30 out, and they, they shot him down, took his 30, and then stood over with him with his 30. Really? Like, yeah, this public record, bro. Ain't, ain't nobody from STL had nothing to do with um, Big A kill. He got oh. he got killed by uh, some civilians from up north. They was from Cabrini Green somewhere. What, what was the fight with Big A, man? You said you had a fight with Big A? Oh, man. Um, Big A and them let, let a motherfucker jump their gates for the guns, man. Some dudes from the Calumet build, older dudes, bro. And, that, well, they was from the Calumet, but they ain't older. They like 41, 42 years old, 43 years old. But... One of my homies, Rude Boy, he from the Cali Matt Bills. And he seen Shorty them with guns and shit. So he go down there, trick them, he tell them, he tell them that the police finna hit us some shit. So they end up getting the guns up out the crib. He double back and take all the guns. Mm -hmm. Five, six guns he got. They come down there to me, Tom Vessel, Big A, Tom Vessel. Man, bro. Hey, let us hold that gun. I say, man, y'all got five of them, six of them, bro. Y'all just let a nigga took. I ain't giving you shit. He walk off mumbling. You know, he a type of person who, if you know Big A, Antron, if you know him, like he always the loudest one over there. He always been like that. So I guess he tried me. So I called him out on it. You know what I'm talking about? And it wasn't no, just no us fighting or none of that. It was order. It was order over that then. Like, he came with the Parkway niggas, and all his people run Parkway. His people run Parkway, too. You know what I'm talking about? Big A people. They run Parkway. They deep as hell, too. So, they had came down there to the middle, seeing that it was me. I had called, you know, the block that I was from back then, you know, and we met up in the middle, and they was y'all on the fight. Hell yeah, he, he ran in his mouth. He ran up. I packed him up. Bop, bop, bop. You know what I'm talking about? Backed up. His lip was busted. He ran up again, walk, 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 dropped him, and then it was over with. And then we shook up, and then it was over with. They had a shake up, it was over with. Man, bro, was he uh one of the people who had a reputation uh, in, in O Block? Nah, he ain't had no reputation then. He ain't had no reputation or none of that. Like, he was just a motherfucker, like I said, that always was yap, 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 yap. Like, always, like, he, he'll get on your nerves with that shit, bro. Like, he'll be the one. They'll be like, the ops over there. You know, everybody will be thinking about barbecuing or something like that. Like, he always was that person, bro. Mm. We just rolled down 63rd and seen somebody standing out there. Like, ain't nobody think about that shit, bro. Like, he, he was one of them people. Yeah. You know, always was excited by, you know, the, the, the bullshit. Until they friends started dying. You hear me? Like, until they friends started dying, that's when you really see it. Like, I told them. I told a lot of they little ass over there. Because I was around them before anybody on YouTube, bro. Like, they can't deny it, bro. Like, niggas be trying to discredit me. But I got locked up over there. 6358, you can look at my record. Like, ain't no nigga just going in Parkway. The average nigga ain't just going over there, standing there, hanging around. I got videos of me and videos, music videos, before they start rapping. I'm in a video. Before they start rapping, before any chief keeper or anything, my homie never got the first videos on that thing. Prince Easy got one video, and then my other homie Bird, Shorty Bird, got the other video, bro. On some real shit. Like, I'm in them bitches. You know what I'm talking about? I'm in Zach TVs, all over Zach TVs. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Like, I, 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 you just got to find it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in um, um, Reese G shows, the, the Reese G show, all that shit. You just got to find it. I had dreads and, you know, how, how I look back then.